there guys and this is charms way and this is the mirror lied explained basically what i'll be doing is explaining my theory on what's going on in the game because it is a really abstract game to understand not not even saying that my theory is even right though these are my thoughts on it based on the things that's been going on during the whole game and I do apologize for messing up several times in the game, for cutting some of them short. I know the one, the last one is pretty short as opposed to my other ones, since I spent a video and a half wandering around aimlessly because of the glitch I caused without, uh, since I didn't go up right away. That's my fault, so. And the frames as well, how. Um, they used to be pretty small at first, and then they gradually got better. So, it was my first video game I recorded, so please do bear with me. I am sorry for that. So yeah, anyway. The Mirror Lied is an abstract game, um, and it is free to everyone's interpretation, because there is absolutely no information, not even on the site itself. Um that you know on what exactly is going on and what everything means so that's that's why everything is open-ended because you don't know exactly what's going on but it is free to your interpretation interpretation i did read up um on one person's log how he thought it was a nuclear war all the all the countries like disappearing uh and then that birdie was an airship, apparently. Um, but it didn't quite connect with a few other things. So, but as I've told you before and repeatedly said it during the whole game, that I thought it was a virus. And, and it is. Um, more specifically, the bird flu. Um, avian influenza being... Uh, H5N1 that's exactly the virus that was put inside of uh, the mi the mi uh, the microscope sorry guys um, the the more darker parts is the influenza uh, getting into the cell and just a small science lesson here what what happens is that a virus isn't exactly a cell all it is is DNA wrapped up wrapped around a protein coat and what happens is that well more specifically with the uh, the influenza it attaches to the outer side of the cell uh, triggers the receptors so that it can enter into the cell once in um, it it releases its chromosomes into uh, the, nucle the nucleus so that the nucleus can make more copies of the cell. And it keeps making more and more cells until everything, I mean, until all the cells burst out of the cell walls. Yeah, the cell walls. And then it goes off to infect another cell. So that's how it works. So I did Google it. And the image that's in the microscope is the exact same one used, uh, well, that I saw when I searched the avian flu, uh, avian influenza. Now that code, that code actually, um, it did relate somehow to the uh, the influenza. I tried searching both of them up, and what came up were many documents on it. Like I know someone, someone else had was making a, a research paper on it, and she left her number there. And the last four numbers were five four nine one, being the code six one five four nine one. Another one was. Um, a chart on 
uh, the influenza strains, uh, the the HA subtype uh, designation and the NA subtype. Like a few examples that really did fit the code were um, the H1N1, which is it, it's the same thing as this is all the flu, but this these are different strains in different countries. So this is in Germany, which is in Europe, being noted with the uh, map. And another one was H15, not uh, uh, N. N9, sorry, H15, not, uh, blah, 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 sorry, anyway, you get the point. And that was in Australia, being the one, one of the ones that disappeared, uh, more, more to the beginning. So that's the connection with the code. The map, again, everything is being wiped out. It was global spread from 2004 to 2007, and it was a major thing, and no one knew how to cure it. Well, you can't, again, you can't cure a virus. You can only, you know, do something like boost your immune system to, like, prevent yourself from having it or put it asleep like the common cold. And the globe, globe itself, when it had odor, more was more re connecting to like the amount of people that died during the time when it was global spread, and the birds too. And don't don't judge me, but I have smelt what the uh what it smells like when um like a chicken dies, and it's ah oh, the odor is so bad. And I think that's what is, uh, um, the odor is referring to. So, to conclude, yes, what's going on is the bird flu. It's, it was everywhere in that time, and I was, uh, I was the last one. Well, Africa was the last one, I, uh, that got removed from the map which i think apparently is where i was i would be since europe was gone when i was reading the emails so yeah uh in the next video i'll tell you exactly what it has to do with leah though you know the whole thing is going on uh the whole concept that everything is connected to the bird flu but I'll connect it to what ha uh, what it has to do with Leah in the next one again I don't have much time on this so we'll have to see you guys later I hope that this is going to maybe get you to think on what's going on in the video it really is an interesting game I like it a lot and it got me to think a whole lot mostly during the editing process just seeing everything disappear before my eyes which i didn't see before so yeah i'll see you in the next video guys vlog you later bye